Riveting content, empowering your life. Welcome to The Sphere. This episode is sponsored by Elite Dental Wellness. At Elite Dental Wellness, Dr. Ashandra Batiste understands that one of the biggest obstacles is dental fear. The vision at Elite Dental Wellness is to ensure every patient is treated with respect, ultimate care, patience, and love. Call us today to make an appointment at area code 713-789-8680. Looking to advertise? Join the Sphere's vast demographic reach of thousands of people all over the world. Send an email today to advertise at thesphere.tv or call us at area code 832-772-7789. KOG and Company. Are your unique gifts and talents changing the world? Do you desire to belong to a community of unity? Visit KOGPassion.com to learn more about the Unleash Your Dopeness movement. Hello, everyone, and welcome back to The Money Factor here on The Sphere TV. My name is LaShonda Johnson, certified financial educator and also the co-founder of the Houston Housewives of Finance. And I'm Tony Sanders, also the co-founder of the Houston Housewives of Finance and a licensed financial professional. But guess what? Look at this. <laughs> we, this is Millennial Mondays. We, we, we've said today is going to be Millennial Monday. Monday. Okay, so guess what? Because we have a special guest in the house today, and he is none other than... And... <laughs> <laughs> I love that part. Ahmad Scott of Millennials and Money. Awesome. awesome. Yay. Yay. We're so happy to have him here with us today. So we have a very exciting show for you today. We're continuing our Financial Foundation uh, series. Uh, we're still talking about debt. You know, that's a big issue here in our country. That's a big issue for all genders, all, you know, uh, classes of people and so we're going to continue to talk about that but we also have some other exciting things that we're going to share with you too so i'm excited because um again ahmad ahmad scott he's representing millennials and money and that is a new branch of the houston housewives of finance mm -hmm. because we do care about our millennials they're our future so ahmad Absolutely. tell us more about millennials and money well, Millennials and Money is definitely uh, here to give you guys insight on investment, on uh, savings, budgeting, travel, lifestyle, but from a millennial perspective. Yes, right? yes, so, awesome. absolutely. Awesome. Yes, we, we hear a lot about uh, what we should do, but as Millennials, we tend to tune one ear off the other. We tend to tune people <laughs> oh, off. Oh, you guys mm, do that? You do that? Because yeah, oh, I, I have I have oh, one of those millennials, so that's what it is. Oh, okay. Yeah. Wow. Okay. Go ahead. So you know, we put our earphones on and we, you know we just tune it out. Mm -hmm. But uh, the millennials and money is definitely here to to be energetic to give you guys exactly what you need. And we're one of you. I'm a millennial, you know, so we can we can speak to you guys about what's going on in the world and how to save and plan for your future. Okay, that's, that's awesome because I was thinking, yeah, if you want to well, listen to the Houston Housewives of Finance, listen to one listen of your to own your peers. That's right. Listen and the to thing that I own. really appreciate about Maude, Ahmad is that he is a financial professional. Yes. License. So <laughs> license. And I love when he throws that in there. And that's very important. Because he's at a very uh, young age, and I say young because I mean he's he's not even bar embarked upon the thirties yet, mm -hmm. but he understands the importance of being able to do the right things with money, and so we're going to be able to hear from him more in the show, and so we want to kick things off today with some things that are in the news. What's in the news? Well, okay, you guys. First and foremost, speaking of kids or mm. millennials Millenn kids grow up to be millennials and we had an incredible event oh my god this weekend yes this weekend with money live so shouts out to money live event mm. 2017 yes. it was phenomenal yes well, you know Lonnie um, matthews did a, a phenomenal a job phenomenal job yes, i mean yes. you've got to really really appreciate people who have a heart for first of all money but then have a heart for kids mm. and and uh, his nonprofit organization by the way is, is what leads this up and this is now i don't even know how many years I it's been it in operation 
But man, what Tony and I came to find out is that this was the largest turnout mm. of all the years that it's been in operation. And so we had a phenomenal class for the parents. Yes. I like that they divided things up. Kids get to go and learn, do their simulation right. about money, learn about money, actually, you know, do some things to feel like they're in real oh, life. That was that reality check. Oh, yes. Wow. Because, you know, you know, we think kids think that we're just made of money we're atm machines <laughs> <laughs> or it's a tree in the backyard you just shake it hey you know we used the to dollar do the tree, but now these kids they're more no, advanced they, no, so this is atm advanced. they think atm machines ATM in the closet machine. yes <laughs> <laughs> and so uh we had a chance to uh you know speak with the parents and they had a, se a separate workshops for the parents to get the parents on board with what they need to do and be an example for their children absolutely because you know we we talked to them and we were like just letting them know that you cannot pass this information on to your children if you don't have it so it first starts with the parents so right. they were very receptive of the information it was a very interactive class and we got so many thank you so many shout Absolutely. outs afterwards saying you know this is exactly what we needed and thank you for coming and yes. we're looking forward you know to you know helping those families yes and being able to give them a resource for college mm, you know uh, tony's yes. a college planning professional as well that's uh, one of her things and she's also passionate about it so if you didn't know now you know um College planning is huge, right. and uh, Tony's certified to be able to assist. Right. So, with what, that since, since you do that, let me go ahead and put that out there. So, this Saturday, June twenty fourth, at our uh, firm, we're going to have a college planning workshop. It is absolutely free. We encourage parents and students alike to come out and you know learn more about the college planning. Not just the you know people always think it's about the funding, but it's not just about the funding. You also want to get the planning so that your kids can get the proper assessments and know exactly what to do step by step. Step. So mm -hmm. the program starts about the second semester of eighth grade, but then it will roll all the way into college. So even if your child is, you know, further along in their education, no problem, still come. So again, that's going to be June 24th uh, at 10 a.m. and at 2500 East TC Jester, Suite 345. That's Houston, Texas, 770. Zero 08 and it's on the screen so it's also the same location where we hold our workshops so please parents and students please come out and join our presentation this saturday for the college planning workshop and i think this is a great segue into what's in the news so mm. you know I, I thought this was really great coming on the heels of doing a money live event yes talking about when is the appropriate time to start talking about money with your children and what should you be talking about? So we're going to take a look at that article. So okay. let's jump into that. How to teach kids money smarts from an early age, hmm. early age. So here we go. It's not something that you have to wait to do. There is appropriate content that you can share with children at an early age. So let's go back to the article and take a look at it. Okay. Start even earlier than you think you should. So the ripe old age of three. Wow. Do you have a three-year-old? Yes, I do. Okay, wow. so hey. Yes. And listen, um, man, uh, Ahmad is a dad also, and he has a three-year-old, so you're already starting with your child. Yes, I started when she was three. She just made March uh, during convention and uh, in, just made four in March during convention. Oh, nice, and, nice. So tell us a little bit about that. What do you do with her? Well, what I do is we have a, a bank, a savings bank that mm -hmm. she uses, and it's uh, broken up into three categories that um, we all should focus on as people, not just as kids. Yes. But the uh, the categories are, may I show the, the bank? Yes, yeah, she sure. Please. Right. So it starts with hold it up high. Yeah, with, there uh, we go. Tithing, mm. right? So she saves some for her tithes, her giving, her sharing. Then there's what you save. And then lastly is what you spend. So this bank is uh, something that she has on her table. You come in the house, you'll definitely see her bank. She goes straight to the bank. And uh, every time we, we come from the store and uh, we're on a cash system. So if we're somewhere, we spend cash and she wants to change. She wants her coins and she goes straight to the bank. And she knows, first of all, that she needs to put some into her tithing, her saving, and then into the spending. So go ahead. I love, I love this. this. I mean, I just... <laughs> I was trying so hard just to wait for you to do Ahmad, hold this up. They need to see this. This is what we need. Not just children, but adults, adults need, this, need too. this too. Can we we need to change the colors or something? Keep oh the colors, make goodness. it bright. But this is something that we always talk about that you need to save, give, spin. Not spin, spin, spin. So you can start early teaching children about this. So Amon, can you tell us where you can get this? Yeah, so you can find this. Um, it's called the uh, the Church Extension Plan, and it's at uh, CEP. There you go. Yeah, there, if you're com. watching us, it's on the screen. 
Yes, and it's a uh, it's definitely a free bank. You go online, um, you put in the order, they'll send you as many as you need. Um, mm. So if you have a, a big family, you want to help out nieces, nephews, they'll send you as many as you need, and you can definitely go ahead and get started with your kids' savings. You heard it here, uh, oh live <laughs> on the Spear and Money Factor here with the Houston Housewives yes. and Millennials and Money. There's there's no excuse for us going into generation after generation with the same the same um, mindset that about money. About we got to change it, you guys, and we got to start with the children. This says the ripe old age of three. Mm. Okay, so. I just absolutely love this. Please, if you're if you're listening to us and you're not watching us, please go back to the Spirit TV and you'll see the link. We'll provide it with you. We'll push uh, push it out on social media, absolutely, so you can get this and your kids can begin to become educated about money. And this requires you to do the same thing. I was listening to something this morning on Good Morning America. Mm -hmm. And they were saying, listen, as parents, we've got to stop telling our kids to do stuff that we don't do. Mm, what do we say here? Lead I by example. It. They said, no more. Gone are the days. Do what I say and not what I do. Ooh. Do what I do. Mm. And so then now you have a basis to be able to tell them because kids, they they look at what we do well, and they're they sponges. follow. They're sponges. So exactly what they're going to do exactly what they see you do. If you're spending... They're going to spend. If you're always charging, that's in their mind. Mm -hmm. Because you think mm -hmm. about it, as adults, we do some of the same things that our parents did. Yes. Whether it's in regards to money, lifestyle, whatever it is. So teach them now. Teach them now. No excuses. No I excuses. I love this. Yes. Lo I'm ordering it for all of my grandbabies. Hello, I'm just going to have some on hand because yes. we're always doing events. Doing events mm -hmm. for ch you know where children are involved and parents are involved. We just want to, hey, we're going to make sure we have some of these things on hand. But you guys, let's go back to the article and take a look at what else it has to say number two uh keep it age appropriate sticking to the truth is good when it comes to money but so is adapting your message to your child's kid uh, to your kid's level mm -hmm. if you lose your job it's fine to say your uh, uh to your elementary schooler we're going back to cook at home more since the uh since since uh costs it costs less to eat out skip the part about being such dire straits you don't have to tell your kid right right listen <laughs> I love this. You don't have to tell your kids, man, we are dead broke. I don't know how we're going to make it tomorrow. We might get kicked out. Oh, the kids That's scared not, to death. <laughs> That's not the things you want to share with your kids. And if you're going to remove some things from them, you don't have to tell them the dire straits part about it. You can just say, listen, mommy and daddy are going to cook because we want to learn, teach you how to cook. We're going to have some family time. You can do it like that. What? How you think about? What do you think about that, Amon? That's very true. Uh, growing up in New Orleans, we were not very uh, rich at all. It was five of us. My mom took in her two younger brothers, so it was seven kids plus my mom. So when wow. when we went out, we walked a lot. So mm -hmm. I love to walk. If you ever hung out with me, you know we're walking. Yes. We did a lot of creative things, and I didn't. I love rice, and I didn't realize that rice is a meal stretcher. Right. Oh yeah, rice and beans, baby. Right. right. So <laughs> yes, it was several things that that uh, my mom did, and uh, we learned to do coming up to save money, but also to be more frugal and to appreciate more. So when you're just swiping and swiping, your kid sees that, hey, I just need that card, right? And I can get anything I want. Right. right. We right. pick up that mentality very right. quickly. And you know, another reason why you don't want to tell your kids, because unfortunately, children are children. Mm -hmm. And then next thing you know, my mother used to say this growing up: what goes on in this house stays in this house. Oh yes. So you know what? You don't want your kids going out there, you know, saying those things. So you know, telling the kids on, yeah, the, on the playground, we oh, broke. We broke. <laughs> That definitely comes up. <laughs> it does in conversation right. because they're children. They don't they're, know. They're, they don't know. You know, they have this naivete about them and they just don't know. So uh, we're, <laughs> we're at the part in the show where we have to go to our, our sponsor for this section. And uh, it's appropriate, too, because we're talking about kids. You know, when you talk about kids, make sure you get your kids teeth clean. <laughs> so, um we're going to talk about uh, Elite Dental Wellness. Elite Dental Wellness our vi uh, is, is uh, again, who's sponsoring this portion of the show. Our vision is to create a welcoming practice that will offer exceptional dental care and a lifetime of dental wellness. We're committed to the finest possible oral care and the overall health and well-being of our patients. Elite Dental Wellness is built upon a foundation of integrity expertise and service through our commitment to modern dentistry continuing education and family atmosphere we strive to make our patients feel free that we are a part of um uh, feel like they're a part of our family dentistry can be scary 
daunting and uncomfortable. Dr. Batiste and her team work tirelessly to encourage your, your comfort. Make your appointment today with Dr. Chandra Batiste of Elite Dental Wellness at 713-789-8680. So make sure you get your kids' teeth clean, get your teeth clean, and then, Gary, we still need a ding. <laughs> <laughs> We've been asking for that, right? <laughs> yes, yes. Okay, so let's get back to the article and see what else the article has to say. All right, so it says use antidotes. More often than not, we're a launch into lecture mode. Our kids tune out. Oh, come on, please jump in here on this, Ahmad. Yes. Kids tune out, millennials tune out, even, hey, I tune out. <laughs> yes. So... Uh, you know, what, what are some of the verbiage you use with your, with your three-year-old, your four-year-old? I'm sorry. Well, I definitely, um, make it about her, right? We're in a me, me, me generation. We mm -hmm. want everything to be about us. So, um, she loves ponies. So mm -hmm. have to, you want a new pony, right? We have to make sure that we have more blue money. We have oh, to make sure. so the, the color how coding cool definitely Can we have helps. that up again? Yes. More blue money. And see, the blue money is what? Saving. Saving. Right? So, so you got to put able to more money more. in that. Yeah. So we, we have a um, requirements. You have to have so much in your, your orange money, in your blue money before we can add or take from our green money, which is the spending. Oh, I just so, love uh, that. <laughs> I really love that. You know what? Um, so how do you open this? Because I'm, I'm trying to see how do you yeah. get the money out? <laughs> So at the at the bottom, it's it's all uh, oh, cardboard. Oh, it has a little thing. Yes. Okay, it just okay. pops right open. That's awesome. And you pull the money out, so it's very but, easy to construct and deconstruct. Okay, that's now see that's that's a simple solution there. But I like you got to have more in the other sides than you do. You got, you can't just keep taking from the spin side, and that's what we need to do with our own paychecks. Stop taking from the spin side. Put more. Spend less. Save. Save more. more push play and repeat. Mm. Correct. Okay. And so now what type of antidotes are the millennials used to hearing? So we're used to hearing save, 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 save. And we feel as though we can't spend, right? We enjoy the things that we enjoy. Mm -hmm. So we're like, well, if we have to save all the time, we can't enjoy, we can't spend. And uh. we're definitely a, a voyeur society. We want to look at, see what our friends are doing. So now that when we uh, ask millennials and we're talking to our peer group, we introduce other things that we can do. That being, um, you know, you, you can spend and you can save. That's why we, budgeting is so important. Okay, so you guys, you got to get that. Here's the thing with millennials. I want you, not only millennials, all of us we need to stand because we've said this many, many times is that saving is not restrictive. Mm, absolutely. You can still do the things you would like to do, but the, the, the key is that you do them in moderation and you don't sacrifice saving for spending. Absolutely. Right. So look, now it's time that we, in, in the first portion of our show here on Facebook Live, so we want you to go to uh, The Spear and subscribe so that you can watch this show in its entirety. I tell you, this is an incredible show thus far, and I know we're going to end it with a bang. So you make sure that you go to The Spear TV and subscribe today right yes. now do it right now right now this second this moment you gotta subscribe but while you're there we would definitely like for you to write a review tell us what you think about the show what you'd like to hear uh tell us what you appreciate uh what you love you see i've said more things that you you know appreciate <laughs> <laughs> and then of course we want you to share it you've got to share it with other people other people need to see this a uh, man if everybody could see this little bank this morning wouldn't that be awesome oh don't worry they will they're gonna see it <laughs> they're gonna see but it. share this because we want you and your friends also to benefit from the information that we're providing you here at the money factor and last but not least there is a little donate button this show is provided to you, of course, at no cost to you. But if you like to donate to our cause, then there is a button there for you to be able to do so. You can do a single donation, and we definitely appreciate it. Or you can click on a donate patron, which you can give frequently or often or monthly. So or however you choose. So we'd love for you to take care of that. Go do that right now. This minute, the show is about to end on Facebook Live, but we're not ending. So you have to be a subscriber to come and watch it again in its entirety. OK, so let's continue and go on. Uh, I think there's a couple of other things that's left there on the article. Or maybe one or two things left there. Let's see. Use numbers. Even if you're um, um, even if you are a math math. What is this math phobic math phobic? Mm -hmm. That would be me. Mm -hmm. I don't like she math. She always says she doesn't like always math. always say I don't <laughs> like math. People understand money concepts better when points uh, is made with specific numbers. Saying to your kid, it's 
it's so important to put money into your 401k even when you're young it's much less effective than offer an example if you put 315 every month into your 401k starting at age 22 by the time you reach age 35 you could have more money uh, have more than a million dollars so you know use numbers I like that. Mm -hmm. You know, um, yes. I know with with uh, my children, I used to say to them all the time, you know, uh, especially my son, because he was the one that, you know, got he was he was there when I realized some things. Right. My poor daughter. <laughs> <laughs> she, I didn't realize a few things <laughs> with her, but I would use numbers and use whiteboards and things like that and add, mm -hmm. you know, do, I'm, I'm a basic add and subtract multiplication type person i didn't get into formulas and right. stuff like that but you know it's it's important to do that so let's go on to the last point here on this article don't lie about your money pass but don't overshare either mm, i like that you know so it says most of us have had flirtation with bad money management at some point what do you mean flirtation we were in relationships hey, with hey, bad money management a, a lot of us are right. still right. in relationships with bad money management you know whether we ran up too much on a credit card or bounced a check or two but resist the urge to come clean about your money mistakes to purge your own feelings of guilt or irresponsibility i mean don't your children are not counselors no no so <laughs> let me just say you know the appropriate way to handle that is you can say you know i've made some mistakes absolutely now you know you don't you don't have to go into ooh, man i ooh, went to let jail me tell over you what this. mama did <laughs> don't do what mama did <laughs> So you can you can say some things like that. So I mean, Ama, you're young. So have you made some mistakes that you've already shared with your four year old? Have I four? <laughs> <laughs> yes. Um, in college, the the mistakes, uh, getting money, having a job, and then having to to finance my way through college, you make mistakes. Oh, I have a couple extra dollars here. Right. There's no such thing as extra dollars. It's, <laughs> It's a place for it. Every every dollar has a as designation, has a place. right? So you go and you spending, you're eating out too much, and she she knows those golden arches, right? Oh, we need nuggets there. Oh, well, we have nuggets at home. Mm -hmm. Oh, we don't need to make the nuggets. Let them make it for us. Oh, right? she's very clever. Wow, <laughs> she'll use verbiage like that and, and try to See get us to stop. Kids but are? it's what you said earlier, saying, "Hey, let's go home and let's prepare a meal. Right. Let's do something together." So she likes to be very hands on, and that kind of gets them involved because again the millennial generation we're all about me 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 how can you appease me how can i you know how can i benefit from it it's always a whiff on what's in it for me all right well i i think that that's you know one thing we need to do understand with our kids is that they understand more than we think absolutely they do if and we she, don't give them that enough age credit she's already saying yes. you know look um let's let them make it yes <laughs> oh absolutely <laughs> at absolutely. three at four she's saying let them make it. you know we say that a lot in our you know time now well i'm tired let, let's let somebody yeah, else make it yeah well you guys listen you got to make some sacrifices absolutely you want to build wealth absolutely well we're at this portion of our show is being sponsored by the sphere are you starting your business or looking for a place to advertise do you have a need to reach out to thousands of people across the world to build your brand or sell your product? If so, get your product placement and advertising needs handled right here at The Sphere. We offer a wide variety of content delivery platforms, including iTunes, Google Play, SoundCloud, YouTube, and Stitcher. Plus, we have a vast demographic reach within the United States, as well as in modern countries across the globe. Our enriched content and inspiring dialogue, coupled with your strategic ad, is sure Surely to hit the mark every time. Call us today at area code 832-772-7789 or send an email over to advertise at the spear tv.com. No, it's not dot com. It's just the spear TV. Where did I get that one from? I sure didn't read that. But you <laughs> definitely want to advertise here at the sphere because let me tell you, we're reaching thousands and thousands of people every single day. And you want to be a part of this. This is a growing network. And we're so happy um, to be uh, collaborating with Gary Lee, our producer and the spear network. We have so many other great advertisements on here and uh, so many other partners that you definitely want to be a part of it. Absolutely. Absolutely. So I tell you guys, um, if you want to be in the know in the future and the now, then mm -hmm. you need to be on the sphere. Mm -hmm. Okay. So let's go on to our next article. Uh, this one is pretty interesting, Tony. You mm. want to you want to talk about this? Absolutely. It says the three of the biggest credit cards mistakes. Hmm. Well, let's just see what they are because mm. you know what? That debt is, is no joke. 
Yes. It's and and, no and we're still talking about our financial foundation. So mm-hmm. this is fitting because we're still on the debt part. We're on the debt management yes. part. Absolutely. So let's see what it has to say. It says, it's unfortunate that many people get a bad introduction to credit cards, using them to spend more than they can afford. Mm. Absolutely. That introduction is in college. Yes. That's in college. Right, Amon? Oh, yes. So my first introduction to uh, credit card debt was in college on a weekend, a Saturday. I'll never forget um, walking off campus at uh, LSU, going to Smoothie King, and I was all prepared with enough money to get a small smoothie, about five bucks. The lady outside with the table, she was like, hey, would you like to get a large for the price of a small? Sign me up twice. And uh, <laughs> <laughs> you got to be kidding me, right? The great expectations, too. I don't think that's even available anymore. But um, I signed up for a credit card, was approved. It came in the mail. And fortunate for me, well, it was unfortunate. All my mail started being uh, coming to my college P.O. box instead of at home. Oh, Otherwise, so your parents wouldn't even know you it. had it. Exactly. Yeah, because wow. I've intercepted a lot of our, um, offers for my daughter. Yes. So the moment I hit 18, we were receiving uh, information like that. And my mom was like, I'm going to show you what to do with it. She wet it, cut it up. We, we tossed it out. Good mom. And now uh, I received this card and psh, I had fresh money in my pocket. Mm. Oh, man. I didn't know what to do with it. And I definitely didn't know how to, to pay it back and to, um, to build that good credit. Uh, initially so i went into credit card debt immediately getting right. calls you know not understanding the, the monthly pain and a lot of things that are so basic we take advantage of simply paying a bill right? right we had our parents do so much so the previous article talked about starting early if you teach people that hey if you buy something there's consequences and responsibilities that mm, you have to get into I like and that. that's definitely paying bills so parents out there listening please take time to teach your kid how to pay bills let them sit down with you and share that knowledge on how, how to do how, how yes, you balance things. yes. And, and i'm glad that you said that because when he's talking about you know his introduction was in college and he's like okay now i need to figure out how do i pay this off that's the problem when these companies are going to our college campuses and they're offering these kids they don't have a they means to pay it money. back they don't have, i don't understand how they get approved because they're thinking about again like i said earlier um over the weekend they're trying to get it into a relationship with the college students early because they know that these are our future professionals mm-hmm. they're going to come out have a job but right now even though it appears that they're coming into a relationship with you really they're coming into a with relationship your with your parents mm-hmm. because the parent is the one who's going to pay that right and then if your parent doesn't pay it and you get inundated with too much debt, then now it affects our dropout rate in college because then now you have to drop out to go pay debt. Wow. And so, I mean, hey, you got to understand, again, consequences. Yes. So let's continue on with the article. It says, but credit cards do have advantages. They're better in case of fraud, uh, make it easier to rent cars or hotel rooms, and you can pay back in the form of cash back travel rewards uh, yet these mm. benefits are fleeting if card holders make these three mistakes and we talked about that uh, award so we're going to talk about that a little bit more too Ahmad it says number one a fee you should never pay paying a credit card late fee is a huge mistake two reasons first it means you were late to pay your bill second it means you were probably didn't try to get the fee waived wow but they don't even know to they get don't even the, know the that fee you can waived. call they don't know these things. So right. that, that's our point. When you're in college, you don't know these things. And then things. getting back to the parent, if you didn't teach your kids these things, how are they supposed to know them? Okay, well, let's go back further oh to the gosh. parent. Does the parent know? No, but you learn right. at some point you learn by mistake. Mm-hmm. And so because we learn by mistakes, my mom used to tell me pay since is the best sense. Ooh. So when you pay for mistakes, you're going to learn. You're going to yes. learn today. And so we do at some point learn, but we need to pass that information on to our children. Right. And, and we just assume that they're not going to get into the same problems that we get into well they are they're destined to especially if you didn't teach them exactly you didn't teach them so any thoughts on that amon yes your your parents have the biggest influence what you know we'll tune you tune you out we'll put on our earphones we'll we'll walk away but the words you say really stick yes they stick the most yes just push and push and push. You're definitely getting through. You know, we, we like to oh, put so on she, a facade. So she's just not letting me know that I'm Correct. getting through. <laughs> I like that. Thank you. But Help me today, you're, you're Help me today. You're definitely getting through. Yes. So, we, we I hear, like that. Scene. I hear, really like know. that. Yes. I really, you know, if you think about ourselves, for me, I really, I mean, now I'm like, everything my mom said was true. Oh, yes. I should have listened mm-hmm. sooner. But I, I realized, I think mid-20s, around 25, 26, I start saying, you know, I don't like it. 
but she is right. Did you do that too? I did. <laughs> <laughs> I don't like it, but she's right. Absolutely. And we know deep down inside, we know you're oh, yeah. right. But we, it's our rebellious side that won't allow that us to say, won't allow okay. us to be humble right. enough to say, "Mom, you're right." right. And but sometimes the, we'll be doing it on the on the slide too. Like you know, that's my mom said. And, and the good thing about millennials is that we have the world in our palm with our phones. So you guys to tell us something and we'll go right back and, and check look it. it up. Okay, that's real. <laughs> right, and, and we'll, like we'll we don't know going. what we're talking about. Right, we have right. to be Googled to be yeah. approved. Isn't that something? <laughs> we'll Google it. I don't care. Just check it out. Do what you got to do. Okay, yes. well, let's continue on with the article. And the second point was, how much is too much? If we were talking about credit card interest, any amount is too much. Means until they see it working against them. Absolutely. It says 10 years of 29%. Oh, my goodness. 29% interest turns into $1,000 into $12,000 plus when those numbers are negative. That's hurt meaning, my heart. <laughs> I know. I see you holding it. <laughs> meaning you're on the hook for paying them. Small balances can grow into a giant financial pain. That's ah. serious right there. Can, can I address so that 29%? I, I need you to. I'm, I'm familiar and I'm blessed to know the rule of 72. That's every two and a half years roughly that it's Do the math. Why don't you a mind? Do the math. Whoa. <laughs> Man. Every two years. Wow. Now he's ha- now he's having. And that's why I guess I'm over here like that. It's hurt my heart, <laughs> heart you guys. Right, right. Every two years, mm-hmm. our money. I mean, our, we're not even getting enough interest on anything to let our money double every two years. So right. we have to be smart, you know. And I like something that you know, the sound that you said that you brought up the rule of seventy two. When Lashonda made a great point on Saturday, and she's like, "Okay, so they're going to charge you twenty nine percent, yes, but they're going to give you two. <laughs> That's what the banks do. Yes. So yeah. it's just the opposite, you know. It, 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 it is just like, you know, people wake up. Understand the concepts that can change your life. You need to get in our workshops. I cannot stress this oh enough. My gosh, that no. These are the things that we're trying to teach you, that we've been trying to teach you, that you need to get educated. Hashtag get educated. How much Please. are you charging for these workshops? Uh, free. The, they're free, Amma. Exactly. Free. Man, you, you tell, I tell millennials all the time, come in, hear some knowledge, absolutely free. Right. And then, uh, um, OK, maybe. Yeah. So then we started bringing it to them like you guys. I'm in the uh, high schools. We're in middle schools. I'm in community centers and we're, we're tailoring everything for their comprehension and for what they can understand and apply it right. Hence away. millennials and money. Absolutely. Yes. And and that's why we you know created the millennials and money so that we can meet you where you are in social events and networking events, yes. things that will get you to come out and hear the information. OK, so you don't want to come to us, but we're coming to get to you. Oh, we're coming we're, to get we're you. coming for you. We're, yes, we're, we're coming, coming for you. You're going to learn today. <laughs> <laughs> I love yes. it. I love it. Yes, we have got to do better. Right. We, we do. Because th- th- this is our you guys, future. You millennials, you are our future. Right. So if you guys don't get it together, man, where, mm. where is the state of our social security? Where is the state of our economic value as a country? Where is the state of our uh, of everything? Right. It's, I mean, so much rides in your hands. And the thing about millennials is we're the largest generation in American history. We surpassed you guys in Generation X. We surpassed our baby grandparents and the baby, baby boomers. boomers. So... We're at big in force, big in numbers, and think about that. The more we're educated, right, the country's just going to change. Just gonna it's going to be gonna, powerful. Exactly. Right, right, but right. if we have this many people, the biggest generation, and not improving themselves financially. It's going to be, it's going to be, the opposite is that it's, it's going to be a tragedy. Right, exactly. right, right. And so, I mean, we have the power to change it. And so mediums like this, hmm. Millennials and Money, The Sphere TV, and so many other things, you guys, I mean, the conversations about money are becoming so rampant these days. Right. So what, what it makes me think about before we go on to the third point is that, you know, in our generations, LaShonda and I, Generation X, the resources weren't quite there yet. We didn't have the resources that the millennials have today. So millennials, please join our cause and get educated. You know, we need you to get this because the, the, the force, you guys are going to be so strong, so powerful, and it makes no sense for them not to have the education. And I'm, I'm just thinking about the wealth that mm. you guys have the ability to build ability because of the knowledge. Build. Now, you know, Tony said it wasn't quite there for us. No, it was absent. I'm just going to say it was quite absent. Mm-hmm. And so for you guys, there will be no ex- excuse for you not to build some significant wealth because you have significant time. Right. The knowledge is overflowing and you can really call some great shots for yourself if you would just take the initiative to just get up and move mm, in this area, right. you know, and then I like 
all these things that we're providing are just essentially free. They're free. So it just requires your time. Mm. But I can tell you, if you don't take the time now, you will pay heavily later. Yes. So you've got to you've got to get educated right now so you can make some better choices right now to secure yourself a prominent future later. So yeah. let, let's let's see what's on, on number three so, so that we can go on. It says ignorance isn't always bliss. Mm. Wow. It says those who successfully manage their budgets and use credit cards are missing out if they're not getting something from their spending. Many of, uh, of Fool.com's best cashback cards of 2017 offer high cashback rates on everyday spend plus bonuses for gas, grocery charges with all with no annual fee so we talked about that Ahmad about yes. having the rewards yeah so as millennials the, the biggest card for millennials recently was the chase uh spear chase sapphire um reserve card mm -hmm. and it offered a hundred thousand reward points just for signing up think of all the things you can do reward wow. points right we're going to hawaii i can find us a whole trip on reward points things mm -hmm. like that we sign up for it and we try to 000. use all these see that's that's right that's it, sneaky it's, but well, this is where they get you <laughs> it's an annual fee Four hundred and fifty dollars. Are you get get wow. out? No. So you're paying for those points. Exactly. You already bought them. But the card was so popular that Chase ran out of the material to print the cards to make wow. them. Wow. Yes. So that was oh, definitely something wow. that we were we were eating up, and that's the way that they're getting millennials now. We're trapped you with something flashy, like they got me that smoothie. Hmm. So, mm -hmm. uh, right, they're they're getting you with offering rewards and things like that for these credit cards that you want to use up, use up. But what does rewards do? Right, it's cash back, so you want to spend more, spend more to get the reward. So we have right. to be smart about that and pay attention to oh what we're actually gosh. doing. And rewards can be very, very tricky because mm -hmm. most of those rewards, I mean, if you budget, you can already do those things out of your own pocket. Absolutely. So it's it, it's an exchange. You got to get something to give something, and uh, unfortunately, we're getting into debt to be able to get those rewards. And that's exactly what we're saying in the sense that we're saying either you're going to pay now or you're going to pay later, but you're going to pay. So you're paying for it. There's them. no free ride. There's no free ride. There's no free ride. Unfortunately, you guys, there's no free ride. And I want to say, please, please read the small print. Mm, that's Because huge. we always glaze right over that. You know, we always think, oh, the terms and conditions are so uh -huh. long. So we just sign. You right. don't even know what you're signing for. Right. Well, you know that marketing, what they do is they they make they put it out there in big print and then that little bitty print. But the little bitty print is what you need to pay attention to. Exactly. You need exactly. to pay attention. Exactly. The big stuff attracts you. Mm -hmm. The little stuff will kill you. Oh, you better say it, girl. <laughs> the big stuff. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I, I'm, you gonna use, we're going to use that. <laughs> <laughs> All right, let's go on with the article. Yes, I, I believe it's a little bit That's more. The last one. It was, I wanted to read it right? with something else that, that was on there. That, let's just see. It says, for a typical family, rewards can really stack up. These Those who are a little more diligent and take occasional uh, advantage of sign-up bonuses can likely collect $1,000 or more over the course of a year. Households with two adult family members can double up on one-time bonuses, which can make credit cards especially lucrative. That's what we talked about. You have to be it, disciplined, though, to, to do these things. You have to be disciplined to do that. It says that said benefits of reward cards can very easily outweigh by the uh, annual premium um premiums you know what i'm thinking about <laughs> <laughs> the annual um aprs on any balances are aren't paid off in full only those who are diligent about paying their credit cards should attempt mm -hmm. to collect rewards on in uh, their every swipe and that's a big thing to me because people get them they get these rewards and guess what they get the zero balances. This is what I wanted to pull in because a lot of those credit cards offer you zero balances for 12, 18, sometimes even 24 months. Mm -hmm. Pay the card off before the interest kicks in. Yeah. So a rule that I tell millennials that come into our Houston office all the time is that you have reoccurring things. You have Netflix. You have Hulu. You're going to pay that anyway. You're going to pay it, Put it, that it. On your card. Yeah, and pay it off. The, you're building up. You're using the card the right way, right? You're building up your, your credit and you have the cash on hand before. to take it. Right. So use it for small things like that. Mm -hmm. This isn't a, a second source of income. And that's where we get into trouble. I Please, like that. Please, can mm. you repeat that? Mm -hmm. Credit cards Hashtag. are not a second <laughs> source of income. These mm -hmm. are going to be, y'all going to see this all, all all over the place real soon. We've said about four little new uh, <laughs> hashtags that we're going to be you have doing. To find it. You have to follow us. Like us, share us, and find us on Facebook, Millennials and Money, Instagram, Millennials underscore and underscore money. We're, we're, we're going to give you so much information that if you fail, right, it's, it's not what, what Benjamin Franklin said. You don't fail. Uh, you don't plan to fail. 
you fail the plan, oh, right? Absolutely. So and we're giving you the plan. You. you just follow it. Absolutely. No excuses. We're mm-hmm. eliminating excuses of mm-hmm. ignorance because you get right. you're gonna get so much here. That's right. Hashtag no more excuses. So with that Another being one. said, <laughs> <laughs> this this portion of the show is being sponsored by KOG and Company. Are you unique? Are your unique gifts and talents changing the world? Unleash your dopeness is a people empowerment movement to build, encourage masses to operate outside of their fears and have the gall to recklessly pursue their dreams and passions in life. Join thousands of others as we unlock the greatness that dwells inside. Shop dope gear at KOGpassion.com. That's KOGpassion.com. And use the code coupon code dope explanation for 10 percent off exclusive unleash your dopeness apparel act now sizes are selling out fast and if you see on the screen man unleash your that's dopeness. Dope. that's dope <laughs> get yours today all right so what's next up in the show okay so since we're talking about debt you know that's that's the next layer on building our financial foundation we don't want you to build debt we want you to understand how to get out of it absolutely uh one of the major things with debt is that we don't want you to pacify it you know carry it on your back we don't want you to you know pet it we want you to get out of it because when you get out of it then you can own your own income so what did you say that's not you need to cut it you know your debt (laughs) hey your debt is too high you need to cut it you need to cut it okay and not cut it but really get rid of it seriously you guys seriously you don't want to have it and so i know that a lot of us you know some situations uh we've we get into it okay but we're not perfect people here please let me let me say that we're not perfect people here we make mistakes too but here's the thing you need to switch and change your mindset because then now you'll think twice about getting into those same ruts if you have been a victim and i say a victim because a lot of us are victims we're a victim of circumstance we're all we also can be a victim of lack of discipline and we also are a victim of not having a lack of knowledge but we're getting rid of all of those excuses by bringing you things like the money factor in the sphere and the houston housewives of finance and our relentless pursuit to get out there and help you in ways that are fun so we want to teach you about the different types of of a debt and the different forms of credit so let's go to this article so you can know you what are the main categories of debt most americans encounter some form of debt at some point in their lives we've just said that Mm -hmm. we're not perfect people debt comes in several forms but all debt can be categorized within a few main types including secured debt unsecured debt revolving debt and mortgages not all debts are created equally Therefore, some are considered better than others. Mm -hmm. Let's talk about secured debt. Well, secured debt is is any debt backed by an asset for collateral. And this is typically what um, uh, a credit check is necessary for the lender to judge how responsible you handle debt. But the asset is pledged to the lender in case you don't repay the loan. So secured debt is when you say, "Uh, hey, I want to put my house up. I want to put my car up. I want to put something Mm -hmm. up. Uh, in some in some cases, uh, people even say, I have money in my savings. Right. Let me put that up. Right. So that's secured debt. But it's also not free debt. You have to still pay the debt in the terms in which it's been outlined. But if you default, then they're going to take your collateral. Mm-hmm. That's what secured debt is. Right. So you have to understand the kind of debt you're getting into. It. And some companies will tell you, oh, this is a secured loan which means you have to bring something to the table for us to give you the loan. So you need to understand that. So let's go back to the article. Now, revolving debt. Tony, you want to read that? Unsecured debt. Oh, unsecured debt. I I can't see. Unsecured debt lacks any collateral. When a lender makes a loan with no asset held as collateral, it does so only on the faith that your ability and promise to repay the loan. Granted, you are still bound to the contractual agreement to repay the funds, so if you default, the lender can sue to reclaim the money owed. Doing so comes a great cost to the lender. However, so unsecured debt generally comes with a higher interest rate, 
Some examples of unsecured debt include credit cards, signature loans, gym memberships, contracts, and medical bills. Mm. And that's a big one because, yes, you know, a lot bills. of people get into that medical. They have a lot of medical uh, bills that, you know, they're responsible for. And unfortunately, that's the number one reason people also file bankrupt. Yes. And a lot of people have unsecured debt. That's mm. we're actually that one. And the next one we're going to talk about uh, are, you know, unsecu- first of all, unsecured debt. Unsecured debt, um, they're lo- they're loaning you the money based on your credit worthiness, right. you know. And even with secured debt, they're still checking your credit. But maybe something in there wasn't too terribly bad that they can't do business with you, or the situation is the loan is too big for them to take the risk. Right, right. Okay. And, and depending on your credit and how your, your worthiness to pay back is going to also determine your interest rate. Absolutely. So when we were talking about earlier that twenty nine percent, you might want to stay away. From yes, that. yes. So you got to keep good credit so that you can if you do need to get a loan then you can secure a lower interest rate and so the next one Ahmad, can you take that one yes revolving debt revolving debt is an agreement made between a lender and consumer that enables the consumer to borrow an amount up to the maximum limit on reoccurring basis a line of credit and credit card are examples of revolving debt and as we spoke about the, the previous article Credit cards is, is something definitely really big in our um, for the millennials in our generation is I need that credit card. I, I want to go on this trip. Mm. And again, with the Me Society, with the um, Snapchat and Instagram, look at me. We want to do what our friends do, right? We want the new iPhone. We want the, all these new things that come out. And so let's get a credit card, right? That's the, the next thing to get. And I think, too, as a millennial, I know when I was younger, I mean, it was a big deal to get a credit card. I, you know, I was kind of, you know, you know, you, you kind of, you know dust the shoulder you know how you dust the, the dust brush off your shoulders, your shoulders off. brush your shoulders off <laughs> when you get a credit card it's like wow that's a big deal yeah um and then you it's almost a sense of pride to be able to go someplace and just be able to flash oh, your no, card no, i got it let me let me pay that with my credit card <laughs> or if you have a lot of credit cards i mean i don't know if that's still the thing you know that you you there's some type of a uh, sense of pride about being able to have all these credit cards no, having as a millennial, having a lot of credit cards is, is common because we don't understand and we don't know the consequences of it. So we do tend to, to have a lot. So it's, it's not the same cachet as it was when uh, you guys were coming up to, wow, you have a credit card. No, it's, hey, I have a credit card. And it's, it's just it's simple no like deal. a debit like card. Everybody Correct. has it. Mm-hmm. Yeah. It's, it's, it's the, the debit card just with the silent uh, C on it. Wow. <laughs> oh, uh, the debit card with, with the silent, silent C. Right. <laughs> Wow. (laughs) Okay. So uh, let's go back to the article. Uh, You know, I want to, another thing I want to say about revolving debt, revolving debt tends to have a high, high interest rate and revolving debt is your department stores. Yes. That's your, you know, um, your Sears of the world, your Macy's, your, Mm -hmm. Your best buy. All those stores that they like to go in and shop in in the mall Mm -hmm. that they get all those credit cards. I can tell you from um, coming from a background of being a retail professional after I left the corporate world, do not, I repeat, do not sign up for those cards. The red card at Target, Macy's, any of these cards, the interest rates are so high. Mm -hmm. The rewards aren't worth it. You're not getting enough uh, savings. I have this card. Please don't do it. You heard it here first. We have a quota every day. To get you to to, to uh, get sign up for these cards, we know all the slick lingo and the slick language, and we mm. can, you know, we we know that oh, you really want this, and we'll entice you. We'll tell you it looks good when it doesn't, and then you can just put it on the card, right? So buy what you. It's your what job you don't to do have. that when you work there. When right? you work there, right? Yes, but you right. you have to understand, you guys, what you're getting into. When you do that, they are. I mean, the interest rates are exceedingly high. I mean. All of us do personal financial strategies right. for individuals. And I tell you, I mean, when I do the debt part, man, the average, the average is about 25% on a credit card, on its credit unfortunately. Card. And then the balances are so high. And you see what it says, revolving debt. It allows you to pay, to charge over and, and over, over again. again. Right. So it, again, you're making them rich over and over <laughs> again okay and speaking of personal financial strategies uh we definitely have to talk about that you have to sit down and do this this is not something we recommend for you to take a journey to take on your own we can help you uh we can help you come up with the plan to be able to 
behave differently with money to also be able to allocate your funds. I like that you said, Ahmad, there's no such thing as free money. Everything has its place. Mm -hmm. it, the question is, where does it belong? So to get in contact with us, my name is LaShonda Johnson. You can contact me at LaShonda J at HoustonHousewisesOfFinance.com. And I'm Tony Sanders. Oh, I don't know why I said that. Why do I always say that? Because <laughs> it seems like we're opening it's up actually the show. Because it's your name. I, I know, but I, I, I know that's not my email. So look, let me start again. It's Tony S. Tony S. at Houston Housewives of Finance dot com. You can also reach us at one eight four four seven zero zero four four six three. We're also on all the social media outlets, which is uh, Instagram, Meetup, LinkedIn. We're also on Twitter, and we're also on Facebook, of course, as the Houston Housewives of Finance official. official. If it doesn't say official it's, it's not, not us. us and where else are we we're on uh facebook as millennials and money right instagram <laughs> as millennials and money as well so it'll be millennials underscore and underscore money on instagram and this is our facebook page millennials and money and you can find me send me all your information i have plenty of time for you guys for my millennials <laughs> at amod.scott01 at gmail.com and i would love to speak to you come sit down we do this um Simple equation, right? It's your income minus your expenses, and that's what we have left for we can build your financial future on. Awesome. Uh, awesome. I love awesome. that. Awesome. Simple that. language that you can understand. Yeah. Uh, so, you guys, uh, I cannot tell you how important it is. And one of the things I want to say is that this is the summer, and this is where everybody gets the spin, spin bug. Mm. You know, I was just saying the other day to – uh, one of my clients, I know you're, I mean, I know you're out in the little areas because every part in Houston has, you know, we have city center, we have town center, something to Pearland do, somewhere has to go. Place. Mm -hmm. every, it's something to go. But all those places strategically have shopping places. Mm. And then they put the cute little summer tops and the cute little summer shorts, dresses and shoes, dresses and shoes. And they are always, you got to pass those up to go to where you're going to go spend more money is at the eateries. So, you guys, be wise, be smart, and, you know, think about what you're doing with your money. Think about what you're doing. Mm -hmm. Have a summer budget. Yes. Mm -hmm. Have a summer budget. What are you going to spend this summer? I'd like to hear from you. Put it down in our comment section on Facebook because... If you don't have a budget for this summer, you can really outspend. Right after summer, we always talk about now you got to get those kids back ready for school. There's other things that you need to take care of. And summer is just, you know, what, three months? What are you going to do for the rest of the year? That's it. And then you have the uh, holidays that we're going to be embarking on. Every event in our you know life, it. we have to have a budget. Absolutely. We have to have a budget. No such thing as extra money. Mm -mm. Everything is allocated to somewhere. But um, I want to hold this little thing up here again. I love because it. Because this is awesome. You know, it says save. That is first. Second. And then, uh, I mean, I'm sorry. Tied. It, well, s save. No, you tied. Yeah. Tied, give. Which, which you tied one? first. So, so on, oh, on this yeah. one, it's tied. So we have, they have it the, has number. the numbers up yeah. here. Mm -hmm. So tied, that's what you give. And then you save. And then you spend. But here's what we keep doing. Spending. Mm -hmm. We spend we all the time. Uh, and most often it's not, we don't even have the money to spend. We don't have nothing in the savings part, but we're, we're spending up money that we don't even have before we even, before get we it. even get it. Mm -hmm. So yeah. pay yourself, please allocate your funds and make sure that you have a plan. Okay. So we're going to, please, can you tell them again, I'm on yes. where to get this. Yes. You can get this at uh, C E P net.com yeah. It's absolutely free. You just uh, log on, you go tell them how many you need. They'll send it right to your house uh, in the mail, and it's easy to set up and use. They have a um, this neat little book here that explains a little bit more about it, right? So it give, you get the assembly instructions, and then it's a uh, definitely a, a pamphlet that you open up and go through so that you can teach yourself as well as your child um, on about the uh, the spending habits at an early age. And I, I think that. some of the adults need to grab one of these for themselves, and you don't even have to, you know, nobody has to know that you have it. <laughs> Absolutely. But have it. I mean, mm -hmm. if this is what it takes, the envelope system, this system, use something. Right. Just do something, okay? And applied knowledge is power, you guys. Mm -hmm. So we want you to be active. We want you to take action. Really, call us, please, one 4463 You can reach either one of us, and there's more of us where they came from that can sit down with you and help you 
to get a plan, have a plan of action to be able to eradicate debt, to be able to increase your savings and to start building wealth. Teach your kids, you know, make sure you understand the commitments that you're making when you sign up with these credit cards. Mm. Have a plan to get, you know, get out of it if you're in a rut. Okay, pay yourself and let's stop with the I'm going to start saving after I pay off all my debt. Mm. Wrong answer. Yeah, we, we posted uh, this weekend on the Millennials and Money Instagram page. What are your plans to save this weekend? Because we know it's a holiday weekend. Several people want to go out. And the first thing we do on the weekend is how much we're going to spend, right? Mm -hmm. We don't plan for for next generation. We plan for next Saturday. So mm. it's like, how can we save money this weekend? Right. And we, we had a, a ton of feedback and uh, people letting us know their ideas to, to save and how they're going to save. So that's something you need to ask yourself every week. What, what are my goals this week to save? How am I going to save? And we always say it starts with a simple $10 a day, right? Start there. Eliminating that, uh, that latte in the morning mm -hmm. or uh, that lunch that you, you know, that snack on the way home. You stop at the gas station. So uh, how are you going to save this week is, is the question. Is the we question. Both. And I we're like going to put that out on Millennials and Money again today. How are you going to save this week? Right. Okay. What are you going to cut out so you can pay yourself? And I wanted to say again, just please follow us. Follow the Millennials and Money on Facebook and on Instagram. Right now, we're currently doing a little, uh, a little, uh, uh, what is it? We're, we're doing the, uh, um, if you go like our page and share it, then we're doing a contest. Well, yeah, we got to talk about Thursday. Yes, yes. Thursday, you guys, you got to come out to our Relax, Release, and Retire Sip and Paint Party. And Three Hues is doing that. And we are fired up about it. So, I mean, we the, the place can hold about 45 people. We want to pack the house because we're going to talk about tips to retire that everyone can use. It doesn't matter what your age, whether you're millennial, Generation X, a baby boomer. It doesn't matter. We're going to talk about it, but we're going to have some light bites. Uh, we're going to, of course, do some sipping. <laughs> and we're also going to paint our retirement backdrop. So you get to take that home with you. We're going to have a fabulous time in Three Hues located on West Little York. So you guys go to the Houston Housewives of Finance official. Click on events and the registration is there. Uh, you can sign up and we hope to see you out on Thursday. If not, shame on you. <laughs> <laughs> shame on you we want you to get educated so it's been an incredible show today you guys thank you so much Ahmad what you were going to say I want to say that uh, you can listen to me more as well as my millennial friends on um, friends and finances every second and fourth Wednesday on uh, the Houston Housewives of Finance show on uh, KYND radio so please follow the Facebook page, like it, share it to your friends, Instagram page, like it, share it, repost so that you can get informed, right? It's about the five people you hang around. That's most important that influence your, your needs. I love it. Be around, be mm -hmm. around people like this. I right. mean, smart dad, smart. I mean, Hey, I know we're going to get all kinds of little messages. Every time we appear him, <laughs> we it's all it. kinds of little stuff. Yeah. Oh, he's fine. He's cute. He's smart, okay? <laughs> First and foremost. First and foremost, okay? And so you need to uh, surround yourself with like-minded people. But right. we will see you next week, same same time, same place. And you're actually going to see millennials here, too, as well. So make sure you tune into the Sphere TV. Go like, share, donate, and review. We'll see you next time. Bye-bye.